YouTubers, uh, what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing how to install a barrier system like this. So everything from cutting the concrete out, putting the pillars in, bolts, the whole lot. So we've got to continue this lot around the corner now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up and uh, while I'm chopping out the holes out, let's do it. Okay, so what I've done is I've, um, I've got to put these plates in, or concrete these plates in and bolts. What I've done is I've measured from the wall, the first plate, the last plate, and I've put a string line right across to get all these all spot on and all in line. So I've cut out two, uh, cut into the concrete on two of the holes. Uh, I'm just going to start on this third hole now uh, with the still saw, the diamond blade in it. Oh. He's a bit closer. What I've done is I've drilled, I've got some 16mm mm, uh, um, threaded bar here, yeah. um, I've got some spare anyway, so um, I've drilled I've drilled into the side of these, put two in, these two sides of these holes here, I'm going to put two more there, two more there, and that's going to tie into the existing concrete. Um, I'm going to carry on and bang them in, next one's in. Okay, so this is how I've done the um, the foot plates around the corner uh, on the other system. And basically, what I've done here, um, I've sat this plate on these battens here. Um, I've drilled the holes in these battens, um, 20 millimeter. The bolts, these uh, threaded rod, they 16 millimeter. So I've given these a little bit of clearance, drill them a bit bigger, so they, they move quite easily. So basically, what I'll do is um, I'm going to fill the lot with concrete right to the underside of this here this pattern here. Um, I'm going to make it a reasonably stiff mix um, and then what I'm going to do is when I get to the underside of here and if it's proper tampered down and stuff like that I'm going to just undo these bolts, um, lift the plate up, lift this plate off, remove the battens, put the plate back on and sit it just gently on top of the concrete and the bol bolts should stay where they are, the, well the studs these studs should stay where they are, they'll all be in position and then what I can do then, I can level this plate with my little bolt level um, I can actually you know, sink it into the concrete and, uh, and actually level it up and then uh, and if you notice I've got these nuts just on a, just on a couple of threads of the, of the actual uh, threaded rod itself well when I take this plate off 
and remove this pattern obviously the plate's going to go down to this level here so which will mean that the bolt or the or the threaded rod should come you know flush with the top of the nut in theory it did work around the other side so uh and that's how we're going to do that so i'm just going to knock up the other uh the other the other two now for over there and then uh, we'll get a mix on get some concrete in Okay, um, it's well, it's following day now, and uh, we've got a bit of a light like, drizzle going on here. So um, I've got the first one done. I wanted to video the first one and then crack on with the rest, but um, I've got uh, I've had to cut these pieces of polycarbonate sheets here, and I cut a, a slot out for them, and then I've just put some uh, some sealant around there, just in case get, the rain gets any heavier, um, and then cover the rest of it um, just until it snatches, you know. Okay, we've still got a bit of a drizzle, but uh, we'll just have to bear with it. So, what I'm going to do is get some concrete in this one now. All done. I've got a little bit of a stiff mix going on here. I don't want to shovel it in too hard because I don't want to move the bolt of the plate. What I do is get so much in, I've got a stick there, and I'll start tampering it underneath at an angle. To make sure I'm getting in all the way round. So you'll see shortly why I do it this way. Because the ground's slightly uneven. Um, this this here is actually square with this, so these have been manufactured quite well. And I would like to want to take these out and sit this down. I would just want the nice, just nearly come flush and just nearly just 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 come from there, just about an eighth of an inch, something like that. But this is why I'm doing a stiff mix, you see, because I need the bolts to stay up in the air when I take these nuts off. The mix I'm doing is uh, it's two stone, two grit sand or sharp sand, whatever you like to call it. And one cement. So it's effectively it's a two to one mix. So here we go now with the shutter. So what I do now is all the way around, get it in all around them ties, and an angle and push it right underneath that plate. missed anything. Once we get more concrete in and a bit more, a bit more weight on it, it will tend to spread a little bit easier. Let's get some more in. And also, as I'm going along, I just get these bolts back straight again. Don't want them coming up on an angle, so let's keep doing that. Give me a waggle. See the bolts will move a little bit, but once I've got all the concrete in, I'll just pull them up and down, and then uh, I'll unscrew the bolts, the nuts on the top, take the plates off and the battens carefully. So the bolts don't sink down in the concrete, that's why we've got a stiff mix. Now. So I'm going to 
take that out because I leveled that up before like when it started raining and I put that in and leveled it up because I thought I was going to have to leave these battens in but uh, I'm getting away with it up to now right let's put it in there And put it underneath the plate as well, so it goes around them bolts. Okay. Right now, that's not bad. So this this concrete level should lift up now when the plate comes on, drops on top of it. What about the others? So, take my brush now, clean this plate off so I don't get any cement on the bolts because it'll make a difference, see, when I'm screwing them back on. If I get any grit on the, in the threads, it'll, uh, it'll start to spill on the bolts. doesn't really matter, I've got some long nose pliers there that can grip, grip the rod with. And as I'm levelling this up, then the, the cement gathers back around the, 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 the uh, bolts again. So, so here we go. Where's my spirit level? There it is. So I'll get that ready. On there. Okay, so we just carefully now take these out. This is why we do a stiff mix, you see, so actually these don't sink back into the concrete. Okay. And I've I've only left left these um, nuts on a couple of threads. See there, uh, because I know the plate's going down, and so and I don't want loads of bolts sticking out from from the plate. So I'll we'll do it all the way around now. That's I'm going to leave the washers on. I'm just gently going to lift this plate off now. Very carefully take this plate off. Oh, hang on. There's a nut on it. Like that. Put that over there. Okay, and then carefully. Now you can see why I've drilled these holes 20 millimeter. Uh, these are 16, and the hole I've drilled in the wood is uh, 20 mil. That's because when I'm doing this now, I don't move the bolts, you see. Same again there. Lift that out now. Need a steady hand for this one now. So I have to grip it there by that plate. Make sure I don't get them all. Get them to me first. That one. And that one and just gently dot flop it in, just let gradually let the weight sit on the concrete. Now, next thing is get the bolts on. So what I'm gonna do is hold Hold these now, so they don't spin. Come on, Ollie. So that's perfect now. So all I do now is make sure the bolt is nice and flat with that. So when I tighten that now, I've got rucks of bolt coming through. So I'll do this back one here, and I've got quite a lot of thread sticking out of that one. This is just an idea to come up with myself. I've not seen it done before. I've not seen anybody else do it. So, but the good thing about doing it this way is it might might be a bit, a little bit fiddly, but you ain't got no no leveling up at all to do with your barrier system. And then push that down there now. Okay, so now, when I'm leveling this place out now, all the concrete will settle around the bolts again. I know I've made a, I made a bit of a, a gap now, but you see this is all raised now. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stick my level on it and see what it's like that way. Oh, it's good that way. And what's it like that way? Oh, blimey, it's bang on. <laughs> Just a little tap there, that's it. That's all it needs, well. So what I'm gonna do now is put some Put an edge on this now. OK, 
Okay, I'll just uh, bring it down to that. I don't know whether you can see that bubble there. That's it. There you have it, right in the middle. Both ways. Right, on to the next one now. Okay, next day, now I'm, these are all bolted down nice and tight, so um, the good thing about doing these like this is they're already level now, so I've not got mess about there putting any levels in and stuff like that, so it's just a matter of bolting these, these pillars up now. When I got in. Okay, so just, just lift them up there so I can medley up now. Okay, so we've got our, we've got our barrier now, all clamped up, ready to re-drill. This is second hand this barrier is, uh, that the client's bought, so all the plates and everything else are all new in the pillars. So, I'm going to get that drilled out now. Okay YouTubers, this is the uh, barrier system all drilled in now. Use 14 mil bolts to bolt them to this, the posts. 14 mil bolts to uh, to fix each section together. What I'll do when I when I'm fixing a section together because it, you've got to really pull them tight. Um, I put a piece of um, threaded rod in the middle, um, long enough, about four inches long. And uh, and then pull it up, and then get the. That's how we get these bolts to line up because they don't line up at first until you actually pull this one into this one. So that's how we pull them together. All the way along here, past the fire exit door. Got a fabricator or manufactured bend there, and back to the wall. So all it needs now is a lick of paint. And come to the other end. Join on to this original one I've done, all the way down. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.